again to my channel again before we start don't subscribe don't follow and don't like you know, the normal ways but now um, today's vlog is I want to show you how to make a charcuterie board so charcuterie board is the art of preparing cured and smoked meat and also it is also um, making also some cheese board um, according with your with your meat right so basically what we need are your board of course you can choose any size whatever is in your pantry or in your kitchen you have a big or small you have the popular one that they always make is with the brie um, you can find it in your supermarket but how I make it personally because I don't like eating it plain you bake it at 350 degrees Fahrenheit you put it in a ceramic container uh, smothered it with lots of honey and your fresh garlic for 20 minutes and it's all done so when it, everything melts that's it and you can have your different kinds of cheeses whatever you can find in the grocery aisle um, you can use so I have some marble cheese here I have some bursin over here as well as different kinds of meat that I have today I am using different types of salami so again you can use prosciutto you can use cured any type of meat so charcuterie you want it savory you want it salty you want something sweet in there you want something fruity you want some crackers on it at the same time I forgot to add in you can also use different kinds of jam but thanks to my cousin she introduced me the jalapeno jam which is my favorite actually it's not really spicy and also you can have your um pickles like uh, any types of pickles that you have but you want it the one that you can actually uh, hold on so and as well as antipasto so anything that you can find in the grocery aisle you can put it in your board so let us all start on my just keep watching uh see you in my next vlog as we go through this fun stuff again we will see you in a bit as we assemble our beautiful charcuterie board thank you assembling now the meat you can do whatever like make sure there's no gap in between so you fold it right around your board you can also make your antipasto Oh, by the way, you have to um, wipe down. You after you're cleaning your board, get some olive oil, put it in a tissue, wrap it around your board, so it's more uh, cleaner and all that. You can also use lemon to clean your board prior on putting on something into it. But yeah, as well. Now we're ready to put in our some of our strawberries. You put it in between. Watch this one, put them in the bag, so it should be good. Okay. Again, you can use your 